Hello dear students, how are you? In this video, I'm going to give you a summary of the material that we are going to cover for the second week of school. In this week, we are going to start with the lessons 1.2 and 1.3. Let's have more information about them. So, happy new week. I hope you have a great week ahead. The first lesson that we are going to cover is uh, lesson 1.2, which is about fluently dividing whole numbers and decimals. So, we'll be learning about division now. This is a short description about our lesson. You are going to use long division algorithm and annexing zeros as necessary to divide whole numbers and decimals. The objectives of our lesson, you will be able to use place value structure to divide whole numbers and decimals. You will be able to divide whole numbers and decimals to solve real world problems. So we are going to explain the steps for dividing whole numbers and decimals. We will be talking about long division, but with decimals. This is a summary for the main points in our lesson. So this is the key concept. To divide by a decimal, rewrite the decimal so that you are dividing by a whole number. Multiply both the divisor and the dividend by the same power of 10, then divide as you would do with the whole numbers. So it's exactly the same as whole numbers, but the only thing that we are going to do here is to change the divisor into a whole number and we are going to divide normally. This is an example and these are the steps that may, might help you uh, by the end of this uh, uh, lesson. The second lesson that we are going to learn is lesson 1.3, which is multiply fractions. Here is a short description about it. We are going to show and explain how to multiply fractions and mixed numbers. So we'll be learning uh, how to multiply the fractions and mixed numbers as well. The objectives of our lesson is you'll be able, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to use models to multiply fractions. You will multiply the numerators, then the denominators to find the product, which is the answer of two factors. And uh, you will be also able to multiply mixed numbers. This is a key concept for our lesson. You can find the product or the answer of multiplication of fractions or mixed numbers by multiplying the numerators, then multiplying the denominators, then simplifying if needed. And of course, if we have a mixed number, we have to rename it first before multiplying. On the September 11th, we are going to have uh, our pretest, our math pretest, which gives the teachers a way to analyze student knowledge, prepare the students for the future content, and at the end to measure student growth. So it is um, not graded, but you have to take it seriously because we need to know what uh, what is the, your pre prior knowledge and what what uh, contents we are going to prepare for you in the future and to measure your uh, growth. So that's all for our week. Have a lovely week. See you.